Hi friends, this is Dainty Tank. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to Life is Strange. This is part, I think, six in our series, but it's also a new run in our series. So, I'm not going to start from scratch. I'm going to load in where we had to make a choice on who to pick for our contest part. Now, we originally picked Chloe. And we ran through and did the Chloe route. And I love that we did that. The Arcadia Bay ending? Everything I wanted. However, we have a unique chance to play alongside Rachel Amber. Which Max and Rachel Amber never got to cross paths. I'm so excited about this. We're gonna do this. Are you sure you want to choose Rachel? Yes, I am. <laughs> G-Man locked, ready for your close-up. Ah, okay, here we go. If I'm supposed to pick a partner to take a photo with, then maybe it'd be a good strategy to ask an aspiring model. The contest theme is bonds. Maybe the bond between photographer and subject is just a natural choice here. I know that Rachel is willing to model for just about anybody with a camera. Uh, she knows that she's really good at it. Sometimes she even does the asking. I don't think anybody's going to forget the time she walked around campus handing out headshots last year. Only Rachel Amber could get away with something like that. But I've never directly asked her to pose for me before. She's in plenty of my candid shots, along with Chloe, but nothing formal like this. It's not like I haven't wanted to, but I figure that she's probably not into my retro style. She has the kind of face that deserves to be shown in HD. High fashion campaigns are never shot with instant cameras. I might be wasting my time- might, might be wasting her time completely. But she's smiling at me. Like an invitation. At least I think that's what it means. I can't really tell. As always, Rachel's uh, an eternal enigma. I knew it'd be a contest. How did you know? I seriously wasn't expecting it. Well, mostly because there was one at this time last year. All right. But also because I might have mystical powers. She winks and then looks at me expectantly. Mm-hmm. Is this my cue? How does Chloe manage to decipher Rachel's signals anyway? I've got to ask her for a lesson sometime soon. <laughs> hey, can you tell me, um, you know, how to read your girlfriend or your ex-girlfriend? That's gonna go well. Um, um, Rachel? Rachel leans in, her elbows on the desk, her chin in her hands. Yes? She looks at me like she's plotting something. <laughs> yes? She totally already knows what I'm going to say, doesn't she? I can hear it in her tone! Her face feel my face feels warm. I was wondering if you want to uh, be my partner for this thing? And then I hasten to add, But if you want to work with Evan or Hayden or something, that's cool too. Rachel lifts a hand and catches her feather earring between her fingers. She turns her f eyes up towards the ceiling and then back at me. I can't read her at all. I have no idea what to expect. Maybe she wants time to scope out her prospects first. I bet half the class is itching to ask her to be their partner. I was hoping you'd ask. Let's fucking do it. Mixed dog turns at the sound of the expletive. <laughs> Language. <laughs> Rachel just smiles teasingly at them and they move on. Hold on, she said yes. And she was hoping I'd ask? For reals? For realsy reals? For real. <laughs> We're interrupted by Mixed Dog trailing back to the front of class and clearing their throat. Alright, alright, I've got to get to get into today's lecture. If you haven't picked a partner yet, then be sure that you do so before class lets out. I sell back to my seat as the lesson begins and I can barely focus. All I can think about is the contest. When class lets out, it feels like hours later and I leapt out of my seat. 
Rachel's taking her time getting to her feet, sweeping her long hair back behind her shoulders as she gathers her things. Her phone gives a little buzz. She gives it a quick pat, glance, pausing for a moment to stare before she tucks it away and turns to me. Sup? She doesn't wait for me to answer before continuing on. So I'm a little busy this week, but I'm going to try and give it uh, give you as much time as I can. Around when do you want to hook up for this thing? Yo, I'm busy. Let's hook up. Tell me when you're going to be available. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 any time is fine. To be honest, I'm uh, still stuck on the thought that Rachel agreed to be my partner. I had made a pretty impulsive choice by asking her. Not that working with Rachel would be a bad thing. Rachel's been nothing but nice to me since the day I met her. But she has so many different options. I can see Hayden looking towards her, like he's thinking of asking, until he seems to realize that she's already matched up. Were you really hoping I'd ask? <laughs> I wasn't winking at you just to exercise my eyelid muscles, if that's what you're wondering. You gonna let me model for you, right? Uh, right. I give a ner nervous little laugh as we cross the classroom. I stand aside as Rachel gives Mixed Dog our aunt names for the registration sh sheet. When we're both marked down, she turns back to me, one hand on her hip. She looks so cool and confident that I could just feel even more awkward in comparison. If any time is fine, then how about lunchtime tomorrow? We can meet, meet out on the quad. Okay, then we can find a time that works for both of us for the photo, right? Right. I hesitate, thinking of all the social obligations that Rachel seems to constantly have. I know you've got a lot going on. It's fine, I'm all in on you. She smiles brightly at me. I'm a little startled by her lack of hesitance, but I smile back. Okay. Just then, Rachel's phone starts ringing. She pulls it back out and stares at the screen, frowning slightly. Hey, I'm sorry, but I have to take this. Uh, no problem. Uh, I'll see you later. Or tomorrow. Thanks, Max. See you soon, okay? She reaches out to squeeze my arm and then swipes to answer the call. She walks out of the classroom. I can hear her greet whoever it is on the other end of the line. Hey, yes, of course. I've got time to talk. I don't feel like I've learned much about why Rachel agreed to partner with me for the contest. Whenever we've spent time together before, it was always, almost always with Chloe there. Mm hmm. So it feels a little weird to think that this is gonna be just Rachel and I. It could be hella awkward, but she said yes. If anything, I just feel more confused about Rachel's agreement now. But I guess I can start nosing around for answers tomorrow. Tuesday. Alright, I'm gonna read. I asked Rachel. The contest theme is Bond, so... Model and photographer? Artist and muse? When I was thinking of who to ask, just kind of... It was, seemed kind of logical at the time. But now that the excitement of contest is fading, I'm wondering why the hell she agreed to help out. What's even in it for her? I've never been able to understand Rachel that well, or myself, apparently. Ugh, it's okay, Max. Even a year in, I still feel overwhelmed and thankful to be at Blackwell Academy. Especially on days like this. Campus is beautiful in the fall, like something out of a book or a movie. On some days, I start to feel like Blackwell has become second nature to me, and it's easy to overlook the little things that I love so much about it. But on days like today, I feel excited about it all over again. The way I was when I first got my acceptance letter. Even just getting to eat my lunch outside by the fountain feels like a total novelty. Or a privilege. I usually eat lunch with Chloe, or I take tea with Kate, but I like having the chance to sit alone sometimes. I really like just watching everyone here. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> my mind's always working like a camera, even when I don't have one in my hands. I'm supposed to meet with Rachel out here. I'm still waiting, so I take a look around as I nosh on my sandwich. I love Blackwell's old brick buildings. They're especially pretty in the fall, when leaves all turn the same shades of red and orange. 
Honestly, that's why I loved Boston so much. Boston in the fall? So gorgeous. I love all of the big brick houses, the brownstones, just everything walking around Boston. is just feels comfortable in a lot of ways, and I love it so much. I love Massachusetts, really. It's a lot of that chill vibe. That's probably why you can always find people sprawled all over the grounds, especially everyone looks so comfortable out here lazing on the grass. I think my favorite part about the quad is that Blackwell's always rotating the art displays. There's something new in them every month. Sometimes it's student work, but sometimes they feature work by famous artists. Half of me hopes to eventually be able to see one of my photos in one of those displays. But the other half of me is saying, no way. I have to work on that. Confidence. Confidence. That seems like the, th the theme of this playthrough. My friends are always reassuring me, and I know that they wouldn't lie, but it's hard to be objective about your own work. You have to suffer for your art, right? Right? I'm my own worst critic. Or maybe I'm feeling extra crispy. Extra crispy sensitive, because I'm so nervous about the contest. There's been butterflies in my stomach since yesterday. You sure it's about the contest? And not Rachel Amber? I can't believe I'm going to be working with Rachel on it. I could have asked anyone, but Rachel's the closest thing Blackwell has to a real deal model. And I've never worked with one before. Why did I even ask her? I'm so nervous. Rachel's had her photo taken by so many people at Blackwell. Legit photographers, like Evan. Evan is great, but you too are a legit photographer. Then there's me and my instant camera. Rachel's so nice. I probably put her on the spot. So she felt obligated to say yes. She winked at you, honeybee. She winked at you. Come on. Come on, Sapphix. If you wink, you like. Way to go, Max. Mystery solved. Yesterday, it seemed like the perfect plan for all of five seconds before the doubt began trickling in. It hasn't moved since. Hold on. This kind of negative thinking is just making those butterflies multiply. Rachel's my friend. Where is she anyway? I've been waiting for almost 10 minutes. Not that I'm annoyed. I hope that Rachel has a... I know that Rachel has a really busy social life. It's almost like she knows how to be everywhere at once. Speaking of being everywhere at once, there's some graffiti here with her name on it in the fountain. I lean over to examine it. Wowzer. That's really mean. I forgot what's on the... on. The fountain but like a lot of it's like Rachel Lambert is a whore or something of the sort in the game like you, there's so many like mean graffitis about Rachel Amber it's rough that's not the first time I've seen something like this either in the bathrooms in the dorms on the desks there's lots of not so stuff not so nice stuff written about Rachel and all of the grungiest corners of campus. I'm not sure why. Rachel's not the kind of person who would do anything to actually deserve this kind of shit written about her. At least, I don't think she is. I've known Rachel for a year already, and I can, and I still feel like I don't know that much about her. I mean, I know the basics. She was there for Chloe when I wasn't, and although I'll never get those years, get back those years. I was away from my best friend. At least she had Rachel to lean on. And she's probably the most popular girl at all of Blackwell. Even if Victoria Chase officially wears the crown. Rachel has more friends than I ever thought what it was humanly possible to have. But I feel like there's lots. I still don't know about her. I'm sure of one thing though. No one deserves to have something like this written about them in a public place. Or anywhere. Slide my bag over to cover the graffiti and look at the rainbow bracelet on my wrist that Rachel had uh, made for me. And just like that, with perfect timing, I hear her voice. I look up. She's giving me a wave as she approaches the fountain. Hey, Max! Hi, Rachel. I totally meant to get here sooner. I'm sorry. Um... Uh... I don't know Rachel Amber as well, so I'm gonna 
save over some of these earlier pieces. It's only meant to get here sooner. What took you? No. What's up? What's up? Rachel's apparently been waiting for someone to ask her because she starts in right away. Don't ask me why, but it's been hard to concentrate lately. I don't understand. You don't usually let it get this bad. I think about Rachel's flawless 4.0. She works so hard, but I've never been able to figure out how or when. With a social life like hers, where does she find the time to study? If you got other assignments to work on, the contest really isn't all that... I've been getting all my shit under control so that way, so that I can keep my word. Partners, right? I'm not making you do all the work on your own. Oh, I opened my mouth to thank her, but Rachel's still talking. And I keep getting sidelined. I should start wearing roller blades. Then I could just fly past all the skater bros. I look behind her shoulder. The skater bros are all hanging out by the steps like they always are. One of them waves at us, or maybe just the Rachel. I know she hangs out with them a lot. I don't know how one person manages to fit into so many social groups. It's a great question. I mean, quite honestly, Rachel Amber was always an enigma in that way, in the game. It's like, tri treating the treated like, you know, she was everywhere all at once. She was across every single aspect of Blackwell. In Before the Storm, we kind of got to see a little bit of that. Like, she basically just ignored social groups and social boundaries. Which, honestly, I always struggled with um, those, like, social group aspects. Because I'm autistic and I am also a very out, like, confident human. So, to me, the little groupings are stupid. So I go and say hi to everybody. So, in that way, I always went across all of the st social boundaries, and it didn't matter. So, I get kind of where Rachel's coming from. She just kind of ignores the social rules. And just is there with everybody. But, you know, in that way, I think it's a little bit different. Because she might have been neurodivergent, but she really acted well. So, it might be she's like a high-masking or ADHD type of person. I'm not sure. It, it's very interesting to kind of see how they portrayed her. But, you know, this interaction never happened. You know, Rachel was gone and, unfortunately, spoiler alert, in, uh, in the grave in the junkyard before, you know, Max ever came back block to Blackwell. So, <sighs> so tragic. I loved, I loved Rachel Amber as a character. So dynamic and so full of just life. Ugh. Anyways. You'd break their hearts. Justin's clearly drooling. I can see it all the way from here. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'd crush him. I want to be a man-eater. I thought you wanted to be a model. Part and parcel, Max. She grins at me. It's so bright and warm. Rachel's smile has a way of making you feel special. Like she's totally happy to be devoting all of her attention to you. Maybe that's her secret to popularity. Well, I need to keep it to modeling for this contest, if that's cool with you. Ice cold. I cringe, open mouth, insert foot much. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's cool, Max. Uh, of course. She laughs, I feel embarrassed. Of course I misunderstood. I'm reminded again of how there's a lot I still know about Rachel. Is it that I'm totally socially awkward or is it that she's an enigma? Maybe it's a bit of, a bit of both. Anyway, I'm so excited for this thing. Really? I mean, m me too, but um... Come on, sit with me over here there. Before I can respond, Rachel is reaching down to loop her arm around one of mine. She locks her grip on me, and I try not to stumble as I stand. Rachel leans into me, smiling, and she tucks me towards a tree. I'm a little startled, but Rachel's always been really physical. She's always tapping, her tapping your shoulder, reaching for your arm, or hugging you to say hi. I like that about her. She's so extroverted compared to me. It's quieter here, away from the sound of the fountain. Rachel only lets go of me once she moves to sit. 
and she pats the grass beside herself. I'm wrapping a granola bar as she talks. Sit, 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 granola. I'm so fucking stoked you asked me to do this with you. Hearing her say it like that, I believe her. But why? You're doing me a huge favor, so if there's anything I can do for you... Like, if you get a project later in the year that you need help with, I'm there. I know a photography class a contest probably seems a little lame to you. Oh, <gasps> a favor? What? You're doing this for me? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, for you too. Her expression softens. It lets me know that she's teaching. Rachel's always like that. Drives Chloe nuts. I bet it did. It's not... It's not lame. I think it's awesome. And I'm glad you asked me to be your partner. I mean, I want to be a model and you want to be a photographer. Potato, potato. So, we're a perfect match for this thing, right? Perfect match. Huh? Well, when you put it that way... My logic's flawless. Just like me. Seeing how confident Rachel is, I feel a little better about everything already. You really want me to take your photo? Aren't you everyone's muse? Do you like being photographed? Uh, I'm going to do a lot more saving on this round because I don't know. Uh, this inter this interaction, of course, never happened. So, uh, I don't think everyone meets muse. You like being photographed. We both know that. You want me to take your photo? Rachel's so certain that this is a good idea. I've still got work to do convincing myself. You really want me to take your photo? Why wouldn't I? She's giving me one of those dazzling smiles again. I love your photos, Max. Those Polaroids you took of me at the fair this summer? Mmm. I look at them like every day. Whoa, I didn't think she cared that much about the candid side taken over. But I remember something. One of them is still your profile pic on Facebook. Why is that not a thing that you thought about? It's important if you're, you took a photo as a photographer that a model still keeps as her public profile? Oh my god, Max. And it'll probably stay that way, at least until you take this new shot for the contest. Thanks, Rachel. Seriously. Rachel knows what she's talking about. I have to admit, that's really there really is a synergy between models and photographers. It's sort of like what came to mind when I asked you to be my partner. Uh, not that I would really know. Um, you're kind of the first one I've worked with in a serious way. Rachel's eyes light, light up. She leans in close like she's going to whisper. Instinctively, I do too. Synergy, that's the word. Mm-hmm. Her exclamation makes me jerk back. Rachel could be loud sometimes. She and, Amy, she and Chloe are like a two-woman firing squad. We're an electric combo, Max. I can feel it. We can really amp it up one by one. Oh, amp it up one-on-one. -on -one. Mm-hmm. Let's raise the stakes on this contest. I laugh nervously. Rachel and I are so different. Really different. Can we synergize? Please stop saying synergy. That is a corporate word that's just silly at this point. No. <laughs> I kind of need to figure out what the stakes even are before we do, do any raising. Rachel tilts her head to the side and reaches up idly to touch the feather earring that she's always wearing. I've never seen her without it. Then how about we scoot out some, uh, well, how about we scout out some locations? We can go right now. And ditch class? Yes. Max. Max. Ugh, okay. For these playthroughs, you are going to ditch class to be with women. I'm going to just tell you now, 
it's it's gonna happen. And ditch class. Rachel's smile dares me to take her up on it. I know that if I were Chloe, I'd instantly drop everything and go. They're always skipping together. But I'm not Chloe. I'm starting to fully hit me that I'm going to be spending plenty of time alone with Rachel this week. I don't know what to expect. And I have no idea what things are going to be like without Chloe around. Guess I'm going to find out. Skipping class makes me nervous. We could easily go later. But Rachel looks so enthusiastic about the idea. Nope, nope, nope. We're totally doing this. Let's go now. I might regret this, but it's hard to say no to Rachel. Let's go now, before I change my mind. I guess I must look nervous about it because Rachel bursts out laughing. Okay, but don't look so nauseous. Madsen's not gonna pop out and arrest you. Probably. Oh, no. She winks at me and then she stands and offers me a hand up. I take it. Her grip is really strong. I've got the perfect place. Before coming to Blackwell, I could count all the times I'd ever skipped class on one hand. Three out of the four of those were because I was sick or cramping. That's fair. Hooking up with Chloe again means that I've missed my fair share in the past year. And now Rachel's got me doing it again, too. I know that she was teasing me, but I seriously expected Chloe's stepdad to materialize from thin air and start yelling at us. Instead, we just had a pretty uneventful trip to the bus stop. I guess I was paranoid for no reason. Unless he's waiting to ambush us when we get back. But now that we're here, I can... I already feel better. This was a good idea. The beach is an awesome place for photos. The lights are so beautiful out here by the water, and the scenery pretty much paints itself. With a model like Rachel, it'll be hard not to take a good photo. It's perfect, right? Just like I said. Yeah, actually, I don't know why I hadn't thought of it. The beach is one of my favorite places. Uh, I love coming here and zoning out. Rachel mime, mimes pinching something between her fingers. I get the picture. <laughs> you and Chloe both. Rachel laughs. <laughs> don't worry. I didn't bring you here to watch me get stoned. I know. I look out towards the water. The ocean disappears into the horizon, stretching on forever. We could pretty much take the photo anywhere here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the best part. Anywhere here would make for a killer backdrop. Rachel spreads her arms to it all. She's totally right. Even in October, the beach here has a certain warmth to it. It's so free and open. Kind of like Rachel, actually. Oh, really? I watch as she kicks off her shoes and fetches both of them, and her backpack by the rocks. She looks so happy out here kicking at the sand, and it's hard not to be caught up in her good mood. Hey, come on! I've already checked out- checked for broken glass with my feet! <laughs> Rachel's got her hands on her hips, looking expectant. I, s I hesitate before kneeling to untie my sneakers. That broken glass joke is not funny! I know the beach is a favorite spot for Vortex style boozing. And to be honest, I've seen some pretty shady looking people hanging around here in the past. Like Frank. It's Frank shady people. That's why I checked for it first. Rachel starts laughing at herself. It's infectious. <laughs> you probably shouldn't use your feet next time. If I don't live on the edge, then who will? That's true. She can be any model. She doesn't have to be feet modeling. With that kind of attitude, you will literally be living on the edge. A broken glass. Shit happens! <laughs> You'll never be able to walk a, walk a runway. I'm too short for the runway, so whatevs. <laughs> You're making a pretty big effort here to justify stepping on bro broken bottles. I'm just saying that if it happens, Rachel's laughter dissolves in the snort snorting. It's really cute. I've never heard her snort before. <laughs> You'll have print work either way. That's the goal. 
Rachel's picking her way along the sand, and after rolling my jeans up to my knees, I join her. She seems so comfortable here, but I know that what she really wants is to make it big in Hollywood. She's never shied away from telling everyone about her dreams. She really does exemplify Blackwell. She'd probably be fam a famous alumni one day. Oh, that hurts so bad. That hurts so bad, knowing what happens to her. Oh, if, if she did live, yeah, she would have been a very famous alumni. Uh, maybe that's why Rachel loves the beach so much. Maybe it helps her pretend that she's in California instead of Oregon. The sand is wet and freezing down by the water, but it doesn't seem to bother Rachel. I'm so happy that I can finally get to, to work with a real photographer. For a moment, I'm not sure who's who, who Rachel's even talking about. But it's me, of course. <laughs> Duh, Max. Uh, I'm excited to get to work with a real model. <laughs> yes. And I am the one that is excited. I get to work with a real model. Rachel looks really pleased. She reaches up to play with her earring. Is that like a flirt? I'm just an amateur hoping to play the pro game. She sounds so modest about it. You will. I'll have the bragging rights to say I took your pics before you were famous. Or maybe I'll be the one bragging that Max Caulfield did a photo shoot with, sh photo shoot with me before she ever hit it big. She elbows me. It's playful, so I elbow her back. I look out at our surroundings, scanning my eyes across the distant horizon to the long white stretch of the beach, then to the cliff and the lighthouse. Each view is so beautiful in its own way. I have no idea where we could even take this photo. Anywhere. When's it right? When it's right, it's right. And you're hardcore. But we'll have to get it in one shot, won't we? Because that instant film is hella expensive, right? Well, yeah, but... Pictures not turning out is a fact of life with any kind of film, so... I'm always stocking up on extra. I want it to be perfect on the first try. She sounds strangely firm about that, like she's been thinking it over. I look away from Rachel and up towards the sky. The sun is breaking through the clouds and it stirs something up in my chest. The light on the beach always makes me feel kinda... Not sure what kind of word I'm looking for. Is it shaka bra? Because it might be shaka bra. Infinite? It sounds kind of lame like that. Uh, never mind. <laughs> that sounds silly. Or like a line from a cliche coming of age novel. No, it doesn't. Uh, I feel this. I feel the exact same way. Rachel's looking up at the sun too. I bet she wishes that we were on the beach in LA instead. I wish I could fly her there for the photo just to say thank you for helping me out. Rachel looks like she's thinking something over. I think that's enough research for today, don't you? She stretches her arms above her head. Or wait, no, she. She's taking off her shirt. <laughs> Me too, Max. <laughs> um, I'm going for a swim. I stand there and watch, stunned as Rachel shucks off her clothes. She throws her shirt onto the sand and then she yanks down her jeans. Next thing I know, Rachel Amber is standing there in her underwear. <laughs> A uh, shock of- a wave of shock overwhelms me. I almost can't look. Uh-oh. Almost. <laughs> almost. Which means that I do. Rachel doesn't e look even remotely embarrassed, but I'm red enough for the both of us. If you're not coming, I'm heading in. I watch as Rachel turns her back on me and bounces towards the water, her long hair flying. My eyes trail to the tattoo on her calf. It's a dragon that winds around her ankle to her- from her ankle to her knee. I know that she got it around the time that Chloe got her sleeve done. It's another reminder of the bond of friendship she and Chloe forged while I was gone. Bond of friendship. Gay. Gay ship. But Rachel is so nice, and she's so important to Chloe that it's impossible for me to be jealous. I watch Rachel run into the water, only to turn back around, yelping. Holy shit, that's fucking cold! <laughs> I 
It's Horrigan! In the fall! What'd you think? Y you didn't get that already? <laughs> it was a bad idea. Do you want my No. Do you want my hoodie? <laughs> Let's do that. I pull my hoodie off and hold it out for her as she approaches. Now I'm cold too, but at least I'm not soaked like she is. Put this on, Rachel. Rachel looks startled, but she beams at me, even though she's shivering from head to toe. No, put it back on. If someone has to get sick, it should be the one, just one of uh, one of us, not two. Are you sure? 100%. Thanks so, Max. Seriously. She reaches out and squeezes my forearm with one wet hand. Then she starts getting dressed again as fast as possible. Five minutes later, Rachel stops shivering. I'm not going to do that again. Not until summer, anyway. <laughs> I'll randomly ditch school, strip, and run into the water in summer. Sounds like a better idea, Rachel Amber. The ocean's still pretty cold here in the summer. Rachel doesn't respond. She just heaves a huge sigh. Yeah, I know. Wishful thinking. It looks like sh that's not the only thing that's bothering her. Hey, Max? Yeah? Rachel sits down in the sand. I join her. She pulls her knees up to her chest and rests her arms on them. I haven't told anyone this yet, but I've been scouted by an agency in LA. Are you leaving too? Is this basically like Arcadia Bay leaving simulator? I'm surprised, not because Rachel's been scouted, but because she's kept it to herself. That seems like kind of news you want to uh, share with everybody. It's kind of—it's a pretty huge deal to be approached by a modeling agent. This is the kind of news Rachel has been hoping for for so long. Why tell me first? She likes you. She likes you. This is her one chance to try and, like, date you. So, she's gonna. I'm still wondering why, even as she uh, goes on, talking up without taking a breath. I'm going to have to move, uh, pack all my shit up, and get out of here. Maybe even as soon as the end of this semester. They say they want to get started ASAP, and that they could get me bookings tomorrow if, it, if I were already there. You know I'm from Long Beach, right? In a way, they'll be like going home I'll definitely put law school on hold but at least it's finally happened and now I can tell everyone who said it wouldn't to suck it that's amazing Rachel isn't it <laughs> Rachel's smiling but it's hard to tell what she's thinking everyone here loves you so much you're bigger than Arcadia Bay um You're bigger than Arcadia Bay. You're so much bigger than Arcadia Bay, Rachel. You have to make the most of this opportunity. Even now, Rachel is supporting me with this contest, so I have to support her in this. This could be a big break for Rachel that Rachel's been looking for. Everybody knows how much she's wanted this. I... Rachel tightens her arms over her knees. Thank you so much, Max. It means a lot that someone with your eye sees me that way. My eye? I feel like I should thank her to you. I know you've got this. Rachel reaches over and slings an arm around my shoulders. I feel flustered, but it's nice. No wonder Chloe's so overprotective of her friendship with Rachel. Rachel's so... warm. We sit like that for a little while, watching the water slosh up onto the shore. It's starting to get colder as the afternoon begins to wane. Rachel seems to be thinking the same thing because she starts putting her shoes back on. We should get back to Blackwell before we both freeze. Yeah, <laughs> we, we both need to be uh, in top shape if we want to get the good photo later this week. At least, you need to be. Great photos don't happen without the photographers, Max. You're right. Of course you are. Rachel just smiles at me. We gather our things and head back towards the bus stop. Once we're back at school, Rachel and I split up. There's still time for me to catch up, catch my last class of the day, so after I bid her goodbye, I set off running. 
I can still feel tons of sand in my shoes. But I might as well have skipped the rest of the day anyway, because I think about Rachel's enigmatic smile throughout the whole class. Uh-huh. Wednesday. Ugh. Beeps. Ah. Beeps. Ooh, let's read. Rachel was full of ideas about where we should go to take our photo contest. Should have known that she was the photo locales already in mind. We go scope it out. Skip class. She wound up ta taking me to beach. It was awesome choice. Why didn't I come up with that? She looks so natural on the beach. She really belongs somewhere warm and sunny and sandy like Los Angeles. So after Rachel checked for a broken glass with her feet, really, she went almost skinny dipping, really. She shared a bit of a shocker with me. Apparently, Rachel's been scouted by a, an agency in L.A. Awesome news, right? Happy for her. But she said she hasn't told anybody else yet. I don't know why. We caught the bus to get back to school and catch our last cast of a class of the day. But now, I've got a lot to think about. Focus on me. Yeah, yeah. Focus on me. All right. I am excited about what happens next with Rachel Amber. I really like kind of the dynamic between the two. It's definitely, like interesting to see how that works but like it makes sense in a lot of ways so let me know your thoughts down below i love you all and i'll see you next time bye